Hi there guys, Kate back here and welcome to this channel. Today we are going to visit Baden, a city you probably have never heard of, but maybe should. So I'm going to show you beautiful sights of the city and the fact that I don't always travel in the perfect weather. <laughs> this time in particular it was super stormy, super rainy, but I think I was well rewarded for my miseries of going through the city in the rain, uh, because the sky was fantastic afterwards. So we're in the small town of Baden. Baden is a cultural uh, town that is famous for its spas, wellness, it's a wellness destination, it's a conference venue and a shopping paradise apparently. Hardly any other place offers such a wide range of tourism leisure activities. So Baden town in Argau canton, northern Switzerland on the Limat river. It's very close to Zurich, it's northwest of it roughly 20 minutes by train. It's famous for its hot sulfur springs that are mentioned as early as 1st century AD by Roman historian Tacitus. I still attract a large number of people today. The town was founded by Habsburgs in 1291, was conquered in 1415 with Argau, the Swiss Confederation. So now we actually see the ruins of the castle of Stein, a former stronghold of Habsburgs. So as we pointed out, they were conquered in 1415. Baden was the capital of the former canton of Baden. The town is dominated by these lovely ruins that we're visiting right now. This city, as I pointed out, famous for its sulfur waters. So Switzerland's thermal springs with highest mineral con uh, concentration bubbles at temperature 47 degrees. Um, it's a very famous place for its curative abilities. It has been famous since the Roman times. Baden is also known as Aqua Helvetica. A bathing quarters with ostentatious buildings help relieve all sorts of diseases from rheumatism to circulatory diseases apparently. If you have any of those, this would be the city to go. Notable people such as Goethe, Nietzsche and Johann Mott sought the relief from their uh, health troubles in Baden. So bathing is carried out in public thermal baths. Nowadays, it's more common to have private bath as well. So there are numerous hotels, great restaurants, and um, all of that makes it an oasis of tranquility and rest. A lovely small town, as I pointed out, situated only 20 minutes away from Zurich and 20 minutes away from Zurich airport as well. So if you come in to visit, very easy to get here, has rich, diverse, cultural offerings, international festivals of world acclaim, car-free old town, has a lot of historical defense structures, beautiful municipal buildings, some theaters and notable museums. The Langmont Foundation has one of the Swiss finest art collection is here. There are valuable paintings that are dating to the Impressionist period.
Alright guys, that will be all for Baden. It is a small town after all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining. Put the like if you liked it, subscribe if you would like to see more of uh, such a content. I post roughly every week or so and see you soon.